Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new course on C Programming. So today's lecture, we are going to practice programs. Yes, that's what it is all about today. I am not teaching you anything new. I am making you sure of whatever you have learned so far. And the only way to get sure is by writing code. Uh, you can't learn programming by reading textbooks or watching theory or watching someone code. None of it's going to work. It's like watching someone swim and thinking, okay, I know how to swim. No, you don't. Just know how to watch someone. <laughs> To know programming, the only way to do it is to practice it. And that's what I'm going to make you do. Whatever we've learned so far, based on that, I've handpicked four questions which you can solve by your knowledge so far. My idea is to make you an expert in your printfs, in your scanfs, in declaring and working with variables and doing basic arithmetic logic operations. So that's what you're going to do today. In the further lectures, when I teach you ifs, case structures, for loops, while loops, do while loops and do bigger things, I want to be absolutely sure that whatever you learned so far is crystal clear. That's what you do. You learn some, some theory, you practice programs on it till the time you show, then you go to the next level, again you practice and that's how you build your whole programming study. All right. So the programs that we're going to do today, the first one, sum and average. So I'm going to give you a bunch of numbers. You'll be declaring variables to store those numbers, accept those numbers, store them in those variables, do your processing, display your results. Right. Then exchange two variables. And this is a part of many programs. So many times in the future in your programs, you'll require to exchange two variables. The next time you need to do it, it should come instantly to you. It's a simple three line code to exchange, but it's not only those three lines in this program. Again, your idea of declaring variables, accepting the values from the user and the whole works will happen. So that's what you keep doing it again and again until the time it becomes your second nature. So you're so comfortable with this that you can learn the next topic without being worried about oh, what I've learned in the past is not sure. So and that can only happen by practice as simple as that. So exchange two variables using a temporary variable, then exchange two variables without using a temporary variable. This is what had come in Mumbai University two years back, five mark question. Uh, yeah, I think 19 paper. Yeah, write a program to exchange two variables without using a temporary variable. Again, you don't need an if, you don't need any kind of big comp programming concepts. It's just simple tricks of programming and you can manage to exchange two variables. Uh, so that's what you're going to do without even declaring a third variable. Now, then we will look at this interesting question, which again come in the exam. This is a 10 mark question. It's a proper full size question. Write a program to reverse a number. So I give you a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You got to make it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll tell you the whole logic and this is going to be a big code that we'll write. All of this is without using those further things that I'm going to teach you later, just by basic programming. I want you to watch the whole video, first understand it and shut it down, practice every program, write it your way. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as how I've written. Even I, when I write the same program the second time, it's not going to be exactly the same. You don't buy hard programs. You understand the concept, you write it by yourself. There'll be minor changes in the code, but as long as you can do it, all the programs, test run it, you'll see for yourself whether you're right or wrong. All right, every program that we do, as always, we first build the logic. So I'm going to create the algorithm, show you how the algorithm works, every step of the algorithm, the entire logic behind it. Once you're clear, absolutely sure what you're going to do, then we will write the code. Then we will execute the code. That's how the result is going to look like your output screen. This is how it's going to look like. You want to make outputs like this, learn programming the right way. Then we'll go ahead with exchange two variables. Again, the same thing, the whole logic and then the program, then the execution for with temp variable, without a temp variable, the same thing. Then the big program where we're going to reverse. The logic is going to be intense. So I would want your full concentration while doing it. Once you understand the logic, then we'll be writing a code for it. And I bet you when this program runs, when you write this code by yourself and the program runs and you see the number has got reversed. That smile that will come on your face, that confidence that you will get is what I want because that's when I will be comfortable teaching you the next step with giving you more complex ideas about programming. Okay, so all of this will be there on my website bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. All I need you to do is click on the link, go to the website, register yourself as a user. You'll see a bunch of courses that teach various subjects. Right at the bottom, you'll see C programming. That's the latest course that we're making. Click on the course, 
So click on the subscribe button, make the payment, start learning. Don't wait for all the videos to come up. By that time, there'll be too much to learn. Many students have already started. Today in the morning, I saw, so I keep giving small, small assignments or homeworks kind of thing, self-practice things. So today morning, somebody sent me a very good program with printed out outputs. And I was felt so happy seeing that, that students who have never thought of writing a program are writing such good outputs. An output creative which is much bigger than this and very well aligned. And that's what I want want you not just to be an average programmer. I want you to be a good programmer. It takes time to learn every step and make it perfect. But if you do that, and you do that with one language, programming is something, you know one language properly, you know programming. Then learning a new language only means learning the syntax and the nuances of the language. But the idea of a programmer, once a programmer always. So the idea remains the same, okay? So I'll see you on my website. Wish you all the best, do well. We are going ahead with the video.